Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my top tips and cleaning tricks to help stop the spread of illness and manage it from spreading within your house. So these are all the ways I help to mitigate the spread of illness in my house. So if you have a loved one at home right now sick, I hope this video helps. So let's get right into it. When someone in your home is sick, it is very important for everyone to be washing their hands constantly, especially when it is in a shared space. So if you're using just one bathroom or the kitchen, everyone needs to be washing their hands very regularly. And also Nick's using towels. So on the left there, you can see I have a towel. Use paper towels instead during this time. So then you're eliminating the amount of shared services being touched. Another thing I love is this Clorox a disinfecting mist or any other type of disinfectant. You can spray it on a towel, constantly be wiping down any light switches, especially in rooms where there are many people touching the same light switches. Also things like soap bottles and faucet handles, just constantly be wiping those down with a disinfectant or even something like 70% alcohol, just put it on a towel and wipe it down to just kill those germs. And often I'll just spray it on there and just let it sit and soak in and do its thing. You have to make sure that you're leaving it on the surface for the appropriate amount of time that's listed on the label to ensure that it is killing the germ. Next up, disinfectant wipes. Always have these on hand. Perfect for just quickly wiping down door handles and other frequently touched surfaces. Now by doing all these things as well as you know, not touching your face, frequent hand washing, having the person that is sick try to not touch at things. If, if they're a child, that's going to be tough, but you can do it. You can not get sick. Uh, my husband was sick and myself and the kids managed not to get sick. And I feel like by doing these things, it certainly did help. Another thing is cleaning the toilet very regularly. A big thing is if you do have multiple toilets, have that sick person not use the same bathroom that you're using. This will especially help if you have little kids. And if you don't have more than one bathroom, that's fine. Just make sure you are disinfecting it regularly. Those commonly touched surfaces, make sure the person that is sick after they use the shower, after they wash their hands, go to the bathroom, make sure that they are wiping everything down and disinfecting it. Now for filming this video, I didn't wear gloves, but during the time I did have gloves on because the amount that I was touching cleaning product and chemicals, I did want to wear gloves. Another thing is surfaces. So countertops, bathroom counters, kitchen counters, especially when you have little ones. I love this granite and stone cleaner. It is a disinfectant spray. You have to make sure you leave it wet on your counter to make sure that you're actually killing the germs. If you just spray it on, and wipe it off, you're not letting it do its thing. So I leave it sprayed on, let it soak in, then I go and I wipe down, you know, handles, garbage cans, sinks, my microwave, the stove, like anything that would have um, germs on it or that are frequently touched and have that sick person quarantine away from you as much as possible. I tried for like the first couple of days to do everything on my own, but I am a full-time, working mom so it was very difficult to have my husband just like you know lay in the room and not help so he did wear a mask and we did as well when we were in close contact i have a two-year-old very difficult to keep him away we tried to as much as possible but again the main thing was you know my husband wearing a mask i think it really helped him not touching you know surfaces so i would try to get as much as i could for him if he did touch surfaces he would literally be holding like a tissue or a paper towel i'm not sure something must have worked but who knows it's a very mysterious uh virus and all we can do is the best we can to try to you know stop the spread in your home so that other members of your family don't fall ill Again, with the hand washing, constantly washing my hands, I would probably get a soap that has some type of like emollient in it. So it's moisturizing your hands or just using hand lotion after. And I'm just wiping my countertops after that 10 minutes, making sure all the gunk was removed underneath so that the disinfectant could really get in there. Another thing is remote controls. I have to show you guys a picture of my downstairs remote control. The thing got beat up you know, because the disinfectant isn't always compatible with surfaces. However, 
It is better than getting really sick. In my opinion, you can always replace a remote control. Another thing is baby gates, huge germ fest. You know, think of how many times you're lifting it up, opening and closing it, and you didn't wash your hands. Another big germ fest is your cell phone. Now, you know, there's mixed things online as far as what to clean it with. I like to use an alcohol prep pad. Um, it's not overly saturated and I always do the back first and really kind of wipe it down. And then I go over the screen and I kind of gently get it on there and then wipe it down. Another big one I think we forget about is laundry. So I love using this sanitizer. It works really great for killing illness and it's super easy to use. It smells great. You can also use bleach on things like white sheets, towels, obviously make sure it's safe for bleach. And you wanna make sure you're sanitizing your sheets and your blankets. If you have to send your blanket out to get clean, that's fine. Use a couple capfuls of the laundry sanitizer. Some washers have like a sanitization or a bedding setting where the temperature gets really hot. That works great too, if you can't get your hands on this. But if you don't have that option, this sanitizer is excellent. Go ahead and have the ill person strip their own sheets Put it into your washer and then someone who's not sick can go and run it. That's what I did. So my husband would put the sheets in and then I would run it. Of course, if it's a child, it's not going to be that simple, right? So when you're handling their laundry, make sure, you know, maybe wear a mask. Don't touch your face. Wash your hands. All that good stuff. And once the laundry is all set, I take it out. I put it into the dryer Nice, real high, high heat, and that will make sure anything is killed off. As I mentioned before, some of these washers and dryers have all different settings. If you don't have that, just make sure it's on the highest heat setting to make sure you are getting that kill. Another thing you can do to help is open the windows, make sure that sunlight's getting in. The germs really don't like that heat and frequently spray down things like bedding, spray down your couch where the sick person was sitting, things like that. Obviously do not lay on them, make sure it is completely dry. And another thing we do is have the sick person put their laundry into a garbage bag and hide it away, spray it down. You know, those are the sick clothes so that when you do the laundry, it's separate and always towels, make sure they are not sharing their bath towels with anyone, that is a huge one. Another thing I just wanted to quickly mention is make sure the windows are open. There, there's some ventilation. You don't want to be spraying chemicals and things like that. Enclosed spaces, pretty obvious, but I know that I'll get the comments down below. So just wanted to mention that. And then go ahead and wash the ill person's clothes separately. Make sure that you are using either the sanitization setting or just use the Lysol sanitizer, which is great, especially if the clothes are delicates and stuff that you don't wanna wash on a hot setting. Another good tip is to make sure you're not wearing your shoes inside the house. That's really gonna stop the spread. Make sure you're vacuuming regularly, especially like during quarantine. Obviously, if you're sick, you're not gonna be up and vacuuming but maybe the person that's not sick can do some vacuuming and then also disinfect the floors and places, especially like the bathroom. I love these Clorox wet wipes. They're disinfectant wipes. They work right on your Swiffer. You can hook them on, kills 99% of viruses and bacteria, safe for tile, safe for finished hardwood, safe for laminate, really good product and it smells great. I don't find that my floors have any like streaking or anything like that after using them. So you wanna just mop the floors and then leave it wet, let it do its thing, penetrate and kill the germs and then let it air dry. I also really love the Centivia ones, great option too. And they have a really nice scent to them. I like the one scent better than the other. I can't remember, I think it's like the lavender one I like better. They're both great at trapping and removing dirt and just so easy and convenient, you can just throw them out. And I'm gonna list all the cleaning products that I love down below in the description so you can check them out. All right, guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this video and you got some good tips and tricks and ways to help stop the spread of illness in your house. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.